Now, one more new commitment, and then we'll start the program. This is our first big new commitment, and one of my favorite ones this year. I'd like to invite uh, our founding sponsor, Tom Galassano, and Timothy Shriver of Special Olympics International to the stage, along with four of their athletes, Loretta Claiborne, Dion Amisib, Dustin Plunkett, and Ioana Kiobanu. Most of us know and love the Special Olympics because of the Special Olympics, right? Because we love the competition, we love the joy, we love the sense that everybody can be a winner. There's way more to it than that. And I commend Timothy Shriver and his whole family for their commitment to this. And I'm very grateful to Tom Galassano for what he's about to do. So I'd like to ask one of these amazing athletes, Loretta Claiborne and Tom Galassano, to come up here and tell you what their commitment is and how they propose to fulfill it. Thank you so much for your wonderful introduction, Mr. President. I don't know if you have remembered, but in 1995, I had the opportunity to introduce you. <laughs> so now I introduce you. <laughs> so thank you. Special Olympics is about sports and competition. But way before that, I had a mother. And she was told to institutionalize me to put me in an institution, and that would be the end of it. Still today, around the globe, people with intellectual disabilities, such as I, are still being housed and warehoused in institutions. But more than all, I see it as very deplorable in our world that people like I still are underserved when it comes to health care. Special Olympics has a program called Healthy Athletes and also a program called Healthy Communities. And I thoroughly believe that healthy athletes and healthy communities are a good buy for all people around the world. When they first asked about doing the healthy athletes, I'll never forget it. I said, we're not about health, we're about sport. But then I turned around and I said to the gentleman, I said, you know what? If my feet are hurting, then I can't run well, or I can't work. If my eyes are in bad repair, I can't see. If my ears are in bad conditions, I can't hear. But I do know if I have good health care, I can do anything. I can contribute to my community. Mr. Gassano, what you have done for our communities, for our athletes around the world, not just here US-centric, the better the health care for all athletes is phenomenal. Mr. President, people, I challenge you, I challenge you to look around and help all people with intellectual disability through health care and healthy communities. Because I faithfully believe that when you have a strong community, first of all, when you have healthy people, you have a strong community. So I'd like to thank you all. Thank you, Strasfuti, Spasiba, Glossius. Thank you very much. God bless. Terrific job, Loretta. 
there's no notes up here. She did that all. I wish I could do that. For many years, I've been an advocate and supporter of services for those with intellectual disabilities. It's imperative that this issue is addressed now on a global stage, which is why I'm standing here before you today. I have committed $12 million to this effort, working with Tim Shriver and his sports <laughs> Special Olympics organization. Thank you. I've supported CGI for many years because I've been inspired by its ability to spark real action and real results in the face of some of the world's most challenging problems. CGI has never been about low-hanging fruit or things that are relatively easy to solve. And there's nothing more challenging or more urgent than delivering health care to a population that is hidden away. Together with Special Olympics, and hopefully many of you in this room, we can eliminate health disparities facing this population. Thank you.